just uh, been told by Liz Neville that the spin that I heard in the background was actually Andrew Howard in one of the Aston Martins who was ahead of Chris um, a couple of laps ago but has fallen down to 17th place which um, fortunately so it wasn't us which is which is which is good uh, Chris still holding holding 16th place just chasing down one of the Jones brothers in the McLaren last time through he did a one 31 I think 30 oh, 134 a slightly slow that round that time for Chris but he's being slightly held up by the McLaren so let's hope he can clear the McLaren quickly and carry on his pursuit of the others So we're now about 25 minutes in here in the British GT uh, race here from Brands Hatch, round six of the 2014 British GT Championship. Last time round, Chris did a 131 lap, which um, is a lot faster than some of the cars ahead of him. So we're chasing down the cars in 11th, 12th, 13th and 14th, who are all slower that time round. So Chris is uh, driving extremely well here. Hopefully once he catches them he'll be able to put some pressure on and, and get some places back again. If you do have any questions for us or for any of the drivers or for the uh, the team or any questions that you like about, about Nissan Nismo and about the British GT Championship, please do tweet us. Use the hashtag Ask 
Billy and tweet us at either Nismo Global or uh, Nismo TV. Or leave a comment on our YouTube page where you're watching this broadcast. Leave a comment to the right and we'd be more than happy to answer some of your questions. So it's 17 laps here in the books at Brands Hatch. Chris, uh, so Chris Hoy in the number 80 Nissan GTR Nismo GT3 currently holding down at 50, oh, 16th place in, in the race. We've still got an hour and 34 minutes to go. Uh, we're probably about 25 to 30 minutes stops where we Chris will hand over to Jan Mardenborough, our pro, who's also our 20... 20 11 now, wow. 2011 uh, Nissan GT Academy winner. Uh, quite amazing as we, was, we were talking to Jan earlier. He was here just uh, two years ago as our AM driver. It's fantastic to have him back in the car as our pro. And if you missed uh, his interview earlier, he will be back on, on later to have a chat with us. But he was saying how this is, exact, this is actually chassis number one that they're racing uh, here this weekend. The exact same car in which he won in uh, 2000 in the, in the damp here when he was showing with Al Buncombe uh, who can't be here this weekend because he's down in in Australia testing for V8 supercars so it's it's great to see our, our Nismo guys go all around the world at the moment also if you missed it earlier we had first for the first time ever live streaming with uh, Fantastic uh, commentary provided by Radio Le Mans of the Super GT Championship out in Japan. So we really have had a really, really busy uh, Nismo uh, day of, of racing. Eat, eat, sleep, race, repeat. So for those who missed it earlier, we're going to show you again the highlights of the last round of the British ET at spa Francorchamps, where uh, Chris Hoy, joined by Wolfgang Wright, took his first podium ever in British GT. It was a fantastic event, it was a fantastic race, and the, the car performed brilliantly, as did Chris and Wolfie. So here now are some highlights of that weekend. 